Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As the uh, title for this video indicated, we're going to be making a, a a switch panel or switch box for the Bass Raider. And uh, I have a switch panel that has three switches on it. It also has two USB charging ports as well as a voltmeter. Tell me how much uh, power my battery has left. So let's uh, take a quick look at this and then let's get into the build of it. So here we go. Here is the switch box and it's got three switches. It's got two USB ports and also has a voltmeter right here. So I really like this. Even if you got this closed, you can still see the voltage for the battery. So my first switch is going to work my nav lights. Got those working. And then my middle is going to actually be the power for my fish finder. So that's the uh, Power for that, and then this last one actually have some floorboard lighting in here. And what's neat about this is it also has a little sensor, and I can pick between all these different colors: green, red, green, blue. I can hit the sensor. You got white, and it's got all these different colors, but it also has like a music thing where. If you're playing music, see as I talk, it'll start, it'll start flashing. It just rotates between colors. I thought that was pretty cool. But uh, there you go, got it all wired up. I think I'm gonna leave this on green for the most most time. Probably end up putting a little Velcro patch on the back and then stick it to right here. But we'll see. And power everything down. All right, I got my switch panel here and I'm gonna make a box for it. So I've got a one by four, which is actually three and a half inches. And that's what I'm going to use to construct the box. And so basically what I did is I figured out, kind of put this here on an angle to try to figure out how big I needed to make the box. For this particular switch panel, I decided to go out, let's see, what did I do? Went out four and a half inches. And so I made, a, made it four and a half inches on both sides. And then I took the measurement of this, the width of this surface bar, and it came out to two and three quarters. So knowing that, that's how I got my angle here. I just put it at two and three quarters and then drew a line. So that way when I cut this out, I can mount that directly to that. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make two of these the same, and then I'll be able to put the back panel, the front panel, and then the top panel on. So I think I'm gonna leave the bottom open and just screw it into the deck. All right, I got the two side pieces cut out. Now what I'm gonna do is put this together and Basically what I'm gonna do is put both sides on and push it as far together as it can. And then I'm gonna measure the distance in between the two boards so I can make the side pieces for the back and then the uh, front. Here's a better, a better depiction of what I'm trying to do here. So basically I got the, the two side pieces together. I'm holding it, uh, up against the switches where the screw holes will line up and I can screw it into the wood and I'm putting pressure to go in as far as I can and then I'll take that measurement between the two boards. All right, just giving a little status update. I got the, again, the two side pieces cut out. Ended up cutting out the top piece and then I've got, of course, the front piece here. And so I'm gonna assemble all this. I'm gonna put glue on the edges on these inside surfaces. And then I used a 1 inch drill bit to pre-drill some holes for these finishing nails. So I'm gonna glue it and then I'm gonna put some finishing nails in there and then use one of these uh, quick clamps to hold in place while the glue dries. And then for the bottom, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of this quarter inch plywood that I have. And basically what I'm gonna do is just, after I have the box assembled, 
what I'll do is I'll just leave on the, so this will be the bottom of the box. I'm gonna probably leave about a half an inch on either side and then put two holes here. That way I can actually screw it down to the deck and that'll be the bottom. So if I ever need to take it off, I can just undo those, the four screws. There'll be two on either side. All right, we got these four pieces assembled. Got it glued and nailed in. This is gonna fit in here just like this. And now I'm gonna make my markings for where I need to make these holes to be able to screw this down. And this sack, this actually came with four screws, so I'll just use those screws that it came with. All right, I got the switch panel screwed in for the first test fit, and it looks good. Now we just got to build the bottom and then the back. So I think I'm gonna see if I have a piece of aluminum to use for the bottom instead of this wood, but if I don't, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make something like this. And also, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off uh, from the casting deck and then actually mount it to this. So I'm gonna get all those holes drilled. And then after everything's assembled, all the holes are drilled, I'm gonna paint this thing. I think I'm gonna paint it black. All right, I got the base plate made for the switch box. And so this is, Length, or I guess, uh, yeah, lengthwise this way, it's four and a half inches from, from here to here. And then width is six inches and three fourths of an inch. So six and three quarters. And I went ahead and left a five eighth inch gap on either side. That way I have just a little bit extra room. I was gonna just do it a half inch, but I thought that was a little bit too small. And then I, uh, went ahead before I assembled this, put some 11 64th inch holes, used the 11 64th drill bit to put holes on the four corners. And I just went a half inch in and tried to center it up as best as I could. And also used some uh, 1 16th inch bit, uh, a drill bit to make uh, three holes. And that's where I'm gonna put the glue and then put the finishing nails to uh, secure it to the bottom here. I think that's gonna work. I wish I could have made this piece out of aluminum just to make it a little bit stronger. But I think this, uh, I think this uh, quarter inch wood's gonna hold up okay. So let's get this put together. So I went ahead and made the back of the uh, switch box out of wood just to keep it consistent. And this top length ways, uh, length this way is five and a half inches. And then from top to bottom it's three and three quarters of an inch. Uh, and then went ahead and used a 11 64th inch drill bit to make some holes. That way I can screw this in on the back. And then after I figure out how many or how thick the wires, the group of wires that come out the back, I'll go ahead and notch a little hole probably right here in the corner. Either, either drill, use a drill bit to make the hole or I'll just put a notch at the bottom. So it's coming together. I'm happy with it so far. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna try to make this uh, like waterproof or try to fill in all the, the holes with or cracks and with uh, silicone. But uh, anyways, it's coming together. I'm going to uh, probably start painting it, sand it down a little bit, and then paint it, paint it black. All right, we got the box painted up. Got it wired. It's not completely wired, but uh, you can see that it is working. It's got a uh, volt reader here. Take this little rubber cap off. That shows that I have two USB chargers there as well. If I can get that back in. All right, there is the switch box for the Bass Raider. Uh, I got the fish, fish finder mounted on top. Hope you all enjoyed this. Hope it gave you all some inspiration to maybe make one of these for yourself. And really appreciate the support. So behind me, you might see another modification. It's a little sneak preview of the next video. This is a extension for the casting deck. An extension that I can take on and off as needed. Uh, say if I'm fishing for myself or by myself, I can put this in here and just have a little bit more extra room uh, in the casting deck. And I say if I have two people, I can just slide this thing out and take it out.
and it's uh, real. It's going to be real quick to take on and off. Uh, so y'all definitely want to stay tuned for that. Hey, if y'all enjoy what y'all see, I'd appreciate y'all hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks.